Well, dear media, we're finally starting. Short remarks of the ministers, then a few questions. And without further ado, Minister Kuleba. We will continue to stand by Ukraine's side, and today we're announcing new assistance totaling more than $1 billion in this common effort. That includes $665.5 million in new military and civilian security assistance. Uh, in total, we committed over $43 billion in, in security assistance since the beginning of the Russian aggression. We're sending our first delivery of mine-resistant and bush-protected vehicles to Ukraine's border guards and police, uh, some of whom I'll have an opportunity to visit with tomorrow. And we're providing critical assistance for demining to help clear Russian landmines, unexploded ordnance, and other daily remnants of war killing and maiming civilians. Uh, today, with President Zelensky, I discussed longer-term sustainable security arrangements, which will provide ongoing security assistance and modern military equipment across land, air, sea, and cyberspace, as well as training and intelligence sharing. Uh, what did you hear, what one or two things did you hear on this trip from President Zelensky or other? In the current counteroffensive, we are seeing real progress over the last few weeks. Uh, as it happens, President Zelensky just returned from the front line, so I was able to hear directly from him his assessment uh, of the counteroffensive. Uh, and I think it very much matches our own, which is, as I said, uh, real progress in, in recent weeks. Because if Russia manages to succeed even partially, it will be a clear motivational signal, a clear encouragement to all other malign forces across the globe to solve problems through the use of force. The second argument is also, I mean, I, I think very, very simple. I mean, I, I don't want to sound rude, but the question is, if the West cannot win in this war, then what is the war that the West can win? And when I say the West, I include Ukraine to this, to this list as well. Детально проговорили сьогодні питання надання Україні далекобійних ракет Атакамс. Мали дуже предметну розмову. І я радий, що ця опція залишається відкритою. Ми розраховуємо, що дискусії всередині адміністрації будуть призведуть до позитивного рішення. Я вас питаю, ви людина, яка це вперше робила, вона тут спочатку, а ви перед тим.